Good afternoon. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Rolex Explorer reference 124270. This watch is available from Chronex.com for €10,690. You can purchase the watch from Chronex.com online, alternatively in person at their boutiques. All their watches are Chronex certified original by their in-house watchmakers and all their watches are covered by the Chronex 24 month warranty. So firstly let's look at the box that the watch comes in and then I'll talk you through the other items one gets with the piece. So this is the outer Rolex watch box and as you can see it has the coronet embossed on the lid which is very aesthetically pleasing. One removes the lid, pulls down the flap and inside this is the inner watch box which I'll show you. So finished to a high standard and I like the gold coronet which is embossed on the hinge lid. Inside there is a compartment with a flap, one pulls down, and that houses two items which I'll show you. This is the leather wallet which comes to the watch and as you can see it houses the Guarantee Manual Worldwide Service Booklet. And on the reverse we have the new style ele electronic warranty card. So this is a brand new 2021 unworn piece and as you can see the date of purchase was the 16th of June 2021. The watch also comes with this Oyster Perpetual Explorer Owner's Manual which is a very useful read and I'll show you the other accessories. It comes with a full set. We have the plastic bezel protector. We also have the original price tag. I won't show you the reverse which has the reference number because on the reverse it also has the serial number of the piece which I want to protect for security reasons. And lastly one also gets this superlative certified hologram tag and as you can see on the reverse it has Rolex SA Geneva with a coronet embossed. So this chronometer tag certifies that the movement used in the piece which is the calibre 3230 is both certified by COSC as a chronometer and also certified by Rolex to plus or minus two seconds per day as a superlative chronometer. So with regards to the specifications of the piece this is a new release for Rolex in 2021, the Rolex Explorer 124270. Rolex discontinued the 214270 and that was a 39mm, so this is effectively the successor to the 214270, the 124270. 36mm case diameter, it has a 43.2mm lug to lug measurement. It has a thickness of 11.7 millimetres and the lug width is 19.2 millimetres. The Oyster bracelet tapers from 19.2 millimetres down to the flip lock clasp which is signed with a Rolex coronet as you can see. So with regards to the specifications there are some notable upgrades to this 124270 Explorer over its predecessor. If you look at the dial closely at the 6 o'clock position you will note that Explorer is now at the 12 o'clock position. On the predecessor, Explorer was above officially certified superlative chronometer at the 6 o'clock position. Personally, I prefer to see Explorer at the 12 o'clock position rather than 6. I think it has enhanced the dial layout. There is, other, there is another notable upgrade. They have added AR coating on the underside of the sapphire crystal. And as you can see, the anti-reflective coating does an outstanding job of reducing the glare and the highly reflective nature of the applied indices, the applied Arabic numerals and also the silver Mercedes hands. So it's less reflective and it has better legibility than its predecessor and I think that is a notable improvement. The other main notable enhancement is it has the calibre 3230 which I will detail later in the review. As you can see, the screw down crown, which is made from solid 9040 oyster steel, is coin edge finished, signed with a Rolex coronet, and it's a twin lock crown providing an effective hermetic seal to 100 meters of water resistance. So let's test the crown action. Needless to say, it is absolutely sublime. Silky smooth, perfect thread interface between the internal thread of the solid oyster steel crown and the external thread of the stainless steel crown tube. So, in the first position, it is the manual wind position, and it's an absolute pleasure to manually wind the calibre 3230 to its maximum 70 hour power reserve. The predecessor to that movement, the calibre 3130, had a 48 hour power reserve, but the calibre 3230 has a more efficient chronology, and that alone is responsible for a gain in efficiency of the movement, and this movement has a 70 hour power reserve, which is very impressive. 
Pulling the crown out to the final position is the time setting position. And it's absolutely silky smooth to rotate the hands both clockwise and anti-clockwise. And as you can see the movement has hand winding and also hacking. I've now hacked the movement so the second hand has stopped dead. Pushing it in has a nice positive click which restarts the movement. And I'll just screw it back down to check the crown action. Absolute perfection. I really think that this is something that Rolex does better than any other watch brand, uh, other watch brand, and that is the screw down crown action, both on the twin lock and also the trip lock crowns. It's just absolute perfection. It's sublime. Silky smooth. No resistance whatsoever when pushing the crown back in and screwing it back down. There's an immediate pickup between the threads, the internal thread of the screw down crown and the external thread of the crown tube. It's just done to perfection. With regards to the case polishing, it's one of my favourite features of this Explorer 124270. Flawless mirror polishing to the solid oyster steel bezel. We have flawless mirror polishing to the flanks of the case. And that contrasts beautifully with the brass satin finish to the tops of the lugs, which complements the brass satin finish to the oyster steel bracelet. The Oyster Bracelet is finished to perfection. Something I really like about 904L grade Oyster Steel is the luster. It has a more grey satin finish to the 904L rather than 316L grade stainless steel and it's just absolutely beautiful to tilt the Oyster Bracelet in the light. As you can see the luster catches the light beautifully. Flawless mirror polishing to the flanks of the bracelet and we have screw pins in the bracelet as one would expect. Now, although the flip lock clasp is fully coated with all the original protective films, I can tell you that it is finished to a flawless standard, as one would expect. Mirror polish to the interior on the top side, underside and flanks, and as you can see, it still retains the original Rolex protective film. So this is a brand new, unworn 2021 piece. Now, inside the clasp, we also have a 5mm EasyLink extension, which adds 5mm to the length of the Oyster bracelet. This is one minor criticism I have of the Explorer. Personally, I prefer the Glide Lock clasp used on the Submariner and Submariner Date, and I would like to see Rolex introduce the Glide Lock clasp to all their models, including the Explorer, because I think it is an enhancement over the 5mm EasyLink extension, as you can see. But having said that, the EasyLink extension is very well executed. Nice positive click when pushing it back into the body of the clasp and good positive reassuring click when one deploys it to extend the bracelet by 5mm. So it does work very well and it is good to have 5mm of extension on the fly. Now I can't give you a wrist shot because unfortunately this piece has been sized for a smaller wrist and it is a small piece at 36mm for my 8 inch wrist. But however I will show you the case back. As you can see it's the conventional Rolex case back, brass satin finish to the centre section and it's also coin edge finished. Relatively low profile, solid oyster steel and finished to perfection and it still has the original protective film as you can see. So let's do a loom test and we'll see how the loom performs when it's charged up to its absolute maximum. So this piece uses Rolex Chrome Light, which is the very best of Swiss loom. And let's charge it up to see how it performs. Right, so that's now fully charged. And as you can see, it is just incredible. This is 10 out of 10 performance. It really is the very best quality loom in the world. So Rolex Chrome Light is very similar to Swiss BGW9 Super Luminova. It has that same blue tone as BGW9. It's glowing incredibly brightly and it's also continuing to glow for a good length of time on the applied indices, the large applied Arabic numerals and also this silver Mercedes hand. So clearly legible, the orientation of the dial is outstanding because we have a large loomed triangle index at 12 o'clock. The 963 Arabic numerals are large and fully loomed and therefore the orientation of the dial, the legibility and the symmetry is just outstanding. The Explorer dial layout is iconic and this really is a purist Rolex collector's piece because it has that same iconic Explorer dial layout as the very first Rolex Explorer, the 1016. So I absolutely love it. Uh, the Rolex chrome lights cannot be improved upon. It really is the best in the world. Now, with regards to the movement, it's one of my favourite aspects of this piece. It's a reason alone to purchase the watch. The Calibre 3230 is a technically excellent movement. It is superior to its predecessor, the Calibre 3130, which had 48 hours. 
As I've discussed, it has a more efficient chronology, and that is responsible for a gain in the efficiency of the movement, and that has increased the power reserve from 48 hours of the calibre 3130 to 70 hours of the calibre 3230 used in this piece. 31 joules, it runs at 28,800 vibrations per hour and a frequency of 4 hertz. And as you'll know from my previous reviews, I personally really like 4 hertz movements because they have a characteristic smooth sweep to the second hand. If you look at the 4 hertz sweep of the second hand, you will see the 28,800 vibrations per hour gives a lovely smooth sweep. Far smoother than Seiko movements, for example, which run at 3 hertz and 21,600 vibrations per hour. Their second hand judders or stutters around the dial. 28,800 vibrations per hour and 4 hertz is the sweet spot. Really, it's the ideal compromise for a movement between power reserve and accuracy. It's the perfect balance. So this has 70 hours of power reserve, which is outstanding power reserve, but it also retains COSC certified chronometer accuracy. After casing, the movement is regulated and tested to plus or minus two seconds per day. And I'm pleased to report that this one is running consistently at plus one second per day, which is within the superlative chronometer certification limits and also the COSC certification limits. There's another thing I really like about the Calibre 3230. It has a 10 year service interval. The Calibre 3130, its predecessor, had a 5 year service interval, but for the Rolex Calibre 3235 and also the Calibre 3230, they developed a new high performance lubricant. And the effect of that high performance lubricant is it extends the service interval from 5 years to 10 years on Rolex movements. So it's very reassuring to know that you purchase this piece and it doesn't need a service by Rolex Service Centre for 10 years after the date of purchase. So it's reliable, it's well proven, it's accurate, it's technically excellent, it's an efficient movement. It's also highly anti-magnetic, it uses the Parachrome Blue Hairspring and it also is highly shock resistant because it uses the Parashock para um, shock absorbers as well. So the Paraflex shock absorbers really are very good. And overall, I think it is a very good movement. Now, with regards to the piece, lastly, I'll summarize it. So when I'm considering reviewing a watch on my channel, the watch should meet two criteria. It should be both excellent quality and excellent value at the respective price point. So this is for sale on chronix.com for 10,690 euro. That is significantly above its retail price. However, it is wholly justified because this is an incredibly difficult piece to purchase from Rolex authorized dealers. They are very sought after by purist Rolex collectors due to the 36 millimeter case size. As I've discussed, the original Rolex Explorer 1016 was a 36mm, so this is effectively a heritage reissue, a successor to the original 1016 36mm, and for that reason it really appeals to purist Rolex collectors. They prefer the original 36mm case size. So the 124270 is a highly sought after piece by purist Rolex collectors and because of its difficulty in obtaining it from Rolex authorised dealers that has driven the price up. And really it is a very strong investment piece and also highly desirable so I think the €10,690 is justified even though it is significantly over retail. With regards to value, yes it is outstanding value because it is absolutely loaded with the specification. As I've discussed, this 124270 has some notable enhancements. The AR coating on the underside of the sapphire crystal is excellent and it really does do a good job of reducing the glare and the reflection of the applied indices, the Arabic numerals and the Mercedes hands. The most notable enhancement is the Calibre 3230 and that alone is a good reason to purchase the piece. It makes the 124270 superior to its predecessor and it is indeed superior to the 214270 which used the Calibre 3130. So the movement's better, it has AR coating and really I think it is a better watch than its predecessor and so therefore yes it is excellent quality and yes it is excellent value. I'm going to highly recommend it to you for your consideration. So I hope you've liked my review of the Rolex Explorer reference 124270. Please feel free to post your own comments below the video. Thank you very much.